me, Senpai Bray here, and today's video, it's gonna be about... My review of my new laptop and my new tablet, my drawing tablet. Now before I show you guys my stuff, I'm gonna tell you guys of a like a small quick little story. So first of all, this stuff I got here is from Micro Center. A lot of you guys probably must have heard of it, but to those who don't know anything about it at all, it's actually a store where it has like really nice electronic stuff and it's kind of like Best Buy in a way, but it's like a bigger store and it has more good good and nice stuff such as like um, stuff to, to build PC, um, laptops, speakers, different types of um, headphones and um, just like etc etc like just plenty of electronic stuff and I also wanted to buy myself a brand new laptop because that's the moment I've been waiting for today now my boyfriend Cody was the one who he has mentioned this store to me uh, before a few times because he actually builds himself his own PC and he just like goes to Micro Center and he buys himself the products and he just like builds them all by himself then then like he would sell them as well he would help his friends and like or charge his friends and other people if they need help building them and stuff and yeah now Cody and I were supposed to go to Micro Center tomorrow but we actually went today because Cody was actually supposed to go to work with my dad today but um, my dad has actually told him that that Cody won't be working uh, this weekend so um, Cody was actually off today and because my dad and Cody work a full time Time together they basically come home like a uh, like a little bit late micro center like closes at seven o'clock but because Cody didn't go to work today he was telling me okay since I get I ordered my own stuff yesterday and you want to get your own laptop we can go today since I'm off and I was actually really happy because it was actually my first time that I was going to micro center and I already had my imagination how it was gonna look so when I got out of work my mom and Brandon actually wanted to go so we all went together once we got there we took like around two hours like uh, looking around the store. I mean, we weren't really like looking all around all the store, but like, you know, I was taking my time which laptop, which good laptop I was gonna get, and then I was also thinking about if I was gonna get myself a drawing tablet or not, or if I should wait. I was planning on getting my drawing tablet maybe like by next year, when the next Black Friday comes, or like Cyber Monday, but since like, you know, we arrived there, I was already thinking, we're already there, so maybe why not just buy it, but I was still thinking about it. Of course, since today is Saturday, the store was actually really, really busy and it was so crowded and the line was just so crazy all the way like to the end of the back of the store and all. That's how like crazy it was. So, and I know I could have recorded guys, but I actually couldn't because I honestly had very low battery and it was a very like 45 minute drive, almost an hour. And my sweet boyfriend was giving me recommendations and helping me pick out a very perfect laptop that was for me. The reason I wanted a new laptop is because my old laptop that I have right now, which is the MacBook. I actually have my old laptop over here, which is the MacBook. It's very old though. It was in those uh, years back, I think back in 2010 or 11. And it was actually like um, really old and it really wasn't like uh, working well that much for me. So here's the one I have. I know I have it like decorated with my stickers, Marvel, Anime, and Spongebob because I'm an otaku. But the problem with this laptop, it's that I've been having like really problems with it. Such as like um, the battery dying so slow and it takes like forever to charge. Like for example, I could like, you know, charge it for hours and once I turn it on and it gets to 100% and about an hour later it's already down to 50% close to going down to 40. Another problem is that I use a laptop to be very helpful. Every time whenever I use my phone here, I always like, you know, would listen to music and play a video or play Netflix or anything at the same time is like it's, that, that's just how it is when it comes to like me being an artist and then like me drawing I like to have like you know sound music or video like I said but every time whenever I do it on my phone I just have to keep on exiting and then like you know it stops the video has to stop I have to go like Safari to look at an image or like for another reason yeah, blah 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 etc every time like whenever I no matter how hard I try I try playing a Netflix video through this laptop but and I just sign in normally and then it's like I get ready to pick out a video to watch or a movie to watch or an episode to watch whenever I'm ready to watch it and I just like click the video it I end up getting a pop-up saying that like I can't remember since it was last year 
something about you need to download a Microsoft something or you need like some type of wire to continue Netflix. That always got me frustrated because I also had like a, another old laptop that I don't ha that I no longer have with me anymore. It was an Acer and it just like worked perfectly with no problem uh, with Netflix. And at first I actually thought it was like the Apple company itself that it probably doesn't accept Netflix but my boyfriend tells me that it's it's because this is very old and it's that's why it's not working so I'm gonna need like a laptop that's like more newer newer like new but anyways like this laptop really like isn't working no more I mean it works but it's just very slow it like freezes and it charges so slow the battery dies so quick so I no longer use this. But anyways guys, I'm just gonna stop talking too much and I'm just gonna get to the point here. I finally chose my laptop and I finally made up my mind that I buy my digital drawing tablet and we each all paid. I paid. Cody paid for his stuff. Brandon got himself a new mouse and a new mechanical keyboard. And now let's get to opening them. And here we go. We're gonna start with the laptop first. And now right here, it is Lenovo. And now as you can see, the box is already open is because like right before Cody has uh, went back home he actually wanted to take a look at the laptop real quick so yeah that's why it was open and like right when I saw it I just liked how it looked so here we go with like unboxing the stuff and like oh yeah also here here's a charger yeah, I'm not sure how like each one of these work Oh, it looks like one of them goes for the outlet and this one. I'm not sure exactly what the thing is called. I'm really not good with electronic stuff. 65W over here. Oh, but now I understand. Now I see what it is. It, they're actually both the chargers. I see it now. You actually connect these two over here. Right here goes to the outlet and I guess this is the charger. Oh, now I see it. And here are the manuals over here. Now let's go over to the manuals really quick. Ah. Dude. That. You actually really thought this video would be boring just for me going over with the manuals? No. Mm -mm -mm. But anyways, guys, here's the laptop over here. Let's just like remove this. I really want to be so careful with this. When I saw this laptop, it looks really, really fragile. Once I paid for this laptop, I actually got, I paid an extra another $100 um, for a one year. And I forgot what that guy called it or how it is explained to me. But it has something to do that like, let's say if I accidentally crack the screen or if it falls and it ends up breaking or anything like that, I think it's kind of like an insurance where like I just go back to the store and they either fix it for me or I just return it and they give me a new one. Either one of those, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But anyways, I'm finally opening up the Lenovo. Here we go, look at my brand new laptop, guys. Turn of the model. Giving it a fold to the model. Weta, weta. Now, here we go with opening it up. Ooh. To those who really want to know how much I paid for this, I actually paid 600 for this. Let me just use my glasses because like my eyes are actually bothering me since I have terrible vision. And guys, it's always better to keep the box because that's what I'm gonna do, like in case of anything. And like I said, since I paid another um $100 just for the insurance thingy, always keep the box and just keep it safe. Never throw it out in case of anything happens. Here's how it is. Here are the keyboards, here's the screen. With this laptop as well, you could also like, you know, turn it and then like have it like close on the other way. And I guess like, look, look, it's probably a tablet, okay. I might not be right. <laughs> this is my first time getting Lenovo laptop and I don't know how it works, but I spent like good money on this. But yeah, so look at that guys. Keyboards at the bottom and then the screens on the other side and then just close it back up. I also forgot to mention guys, right over here is also like the fingerprint scanner. And now it's time to turn this laptop on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here's the power button. I wonder if it's also like charge or fully charged or something might need a little bit of battery but yeah the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen if you need an assistive screen reader press the windows control and enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator your region is set to the united states is that right that was scary
Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? My laptop actually had no battery, so I know I had to charge it. And because I couldn't charge it next to me, all of a sudden, I was just gonna explain to you guys that I'm charging it. But then all of a sudden, like, my laptop is closed, and it just started talking to me. Look at that. That was creepy. So here we go, guys. Right now, I'm setting up and getting my laptop all ready, guys. Okay, guys, over here. I'm setting up my fingerprint, this time I'm adding my thumb. Since I've done both my pointer finger and middle finger, I'm gonna try with my thumb this time. Look! Look! Look at that! As you can see guys, everything is all set up. Now would you look at that? This is a touch screen. Look at that. I can just click like that with my finger and it works perfectly fine. Oh my gosh, I'm really so happy. Oh my god, this is so pretty, really, it is. I know it probably looks normal from through the laptop, but like if you were actually here in person, it just looks so nice. I really like the quality of this. But yes, that is the review of the laptop, and now moving on to the... Wow! <gasps> my digital art tab. So here we go guys, here's the box, this is how it looks. I paid $249.99 for this for a size small. I was thinking about getting the medium size one, but it was actually like a little more $100 um, higher, which it would have been like 300 something. When I saw the small one, I thought that it was actually a really good size and I think it's good. And it's actually a really good price. Let's give it una vuelta. So here's how the side looks of the box. And then in the back, a little bit of the instructions. And then it shows over here of like the pro pen, the size of the tablet, six express keys, and like Bluetooth. There you have it right there. The bottom, the barcode. And now here we go to opening it. So it starts off from here. I really want to be so careful with the box. In case if anything happens with the tablet, you know, I can just save the box just like I'm saving for the one of the laptop. So here we go. Look at that! Wow. This is how like the tablet looks. As you can see, it looks like there's a button over here. And it just blinked too! I'm not sure how this works guys, but I really want to test it out. We're gonna give it a try in about a second. But if anything, if it doesn't, I know I can use this as well in Cody's good PC. And I can be able to start doing digital drawing on my brand new tablet! So here we go. I'm removing the tablet and as you can see this is how the small size is guys compared to the box it's like a little smaller than in the box but this is actually like a really good size I really think it is I'm gonna be careful with it and put it down on the side for a second and here's what it is at the bottom as you can see over here there's the side the stylus pen the other sideways okay anyways here we go I'm guessing these are the instructions I'm not sure if you can see it from now but it shows like number one two and three of like how this thing really works. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll figure it out. This here is like the wire. I'll just like call it the wire. Right here is like where you actually can connect the, the drawing tablet like with this and to this. Right here at the tablet, as you can see, it has it right there. I'm not really smart with these, but yeah, there we go. It's where like you plug this small thingy, this part over here. This is so cool. This is like the best day of my life. And now, let's see if we can connect it to the laptop. Okay, so as before we get started, it looks like there's like a little button right there. I'm not sure what it is, but it's probably like turning it on or off or whatever it is. Oh, and right over here, guys, this is how like the bottom of the Wacom. Okay, so here we go. And now let's see. It's either one of those two on the side. Oh, there we go. As you can see, like the light over here, it just like turned on two hours later all right guys i'm gonna get to the explanation but back to the reviewing with the wacom stuff from here and if you turn it over like right there at the bottom is that like i don't know if you can see it it has like a little hole right there the back is like where you grab the little pen and then it holds it for you just like that as i showed you earlier where it shows in the, the little picture when you see the little pen right here on the pointer 
what you do is that like you insert it. I don't want to do it right now, but you just like insert it and then you just like take the little pointer out. And another thing is that on the side it says open. Oh, this looks really cool. Like look at this. So I just opened it. It shows like on one side it shows black and the other ones it shows white. Right here at the bottom, it's like an eraser. Last but not least, back to this one. Open it. It shows you like the instructions on how to use the little stick both front and back. Alright guys, um, and that is it for like the review of both of the laptop and my digital drawing tablet. I'm actually really, really tired right now. I know I have said I was going to show you guys of testing out the tablet. I've downloaded like my art program, but it's actually been two hours that I've waited and it still hasn't finished downloading yet. It's not even halfway there. It's a close done. Right now it's like one o'clock in the morning and I really have to wake up early for work. So next time I'll do another review of the Wacom tablet. So yeah, I'm sorry about that guys. It has really got me mad that... It didn't download at all. I'm so tired and I'm like really feeling tired of wearing makeup at this time right now. Uh, I'm ready to take it off. I'm really gonna be ready to go to bed. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you really liked it, please like give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of it. Please subscribe to my channel and I will be seeing you next time in the next video guys. Bye!